Hello friends! So I'm going to show you how to um, create a work of art that looks like Alma Woodsy Thomas um, where she uses those little specks of color. Um, so this is one example. You can use a heart. You don't have to do a heart. You can do a different shape. But notice how the lines follow along the edge of the shape. They follow the contour of the heart going all the way around and the lines are not too far apart from each other, okay? Here's another example where my lines are a little closer together, okay? It's another heart. So I'm going to show you how to make something like this, okay? So you'll need your pencil first to draw your shape. So if you're going to do a heart, great. If you're going to do a star, great. Whatever shape you want. You can also do the Alma Thomas um, method where you do, you can do some straight lines going across, right? And then you'll fill each of those with some color in the same way. But I'm gonna do the shape first. So, um, if you need help making a heart, um, you can do it how you want, but if you don't know how to make a heart and you want to make a heart, you can watch this little trick I do I make a little dot on my paper first, okay, not too big, just a little one so I can see it. And then I make a rainbow shape for one side of the heart. And then from, the, from that point, I go around again. Okay, so now it kind of looks like a bird flying or a round M, okay? Then what you're going to do is take both of these ends and bring them to a point. So it's kind of like you're doing a triangle on the bottom. Okay? If it helps you, you can look at this little dot and then kind of pretend to draw a line. Don't really draw a line. Pretend. Like, okay, I want my heart to go down to there. Make a little dot. And then you can connect your heart lines. Okay? So that's one way to make a heart. If you want to do it a different way, that's fine. Okay, you can just do it the, um, the traditional way where you start on one side and go around like that. Okay, so however you want to do your heart, <clears throat> and you can do any kind of heart or any kind of shape you'd like. Okay, so great, now I'm done with my pencil. I don't need your pencil, thank you. <laughs> so now, I'm going to use paint, okay? Let me show you how you're going to paint. Okay, so I'm gonna take my paper and put it to the side just for a second. Come on, paper. Okay. So when you paint, and you're trying to paint like Alma Woodsy Thomas, and I'll actually show you on this one. <clears throat> so, grab your color that you want. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it with this, with doing straight lines across if that's something that interests you. Okay, so notice how I'm touching the paper. I'm not squishing my brush, I'm just pushing it down gently. And then, as close as I can without touching each other, okay, I'm hopping, hopping with a color. Hop, hop, hop. Call this dabbing. In art, we call it dabbing or dabbing the paint on. Okay? So, okay, I need to do another row. I have to fill this whole little section with that color. I'm going to try not to have them touch. It's okay if, oops, they touched. It's okay if it happens by accident. Okay? So you're filling the space with dabs of color. Okay? Going across. Now I'm working kind of fast. You probably should go a little bit slower. Really be careful. You don't want to have too much space in between your dots. 
That's too much space. I can fit a whole nother dab right in there. And a little one, tiny one right there. Okay. So try not to have too much space in between your lines or your dabs of color. One more. Okay. So maybe this is a bed of violets, violet flowers. They kind of look bluish. Maybe this is a bunch of violet flowers. I don't know. Okay, so then I, on my next section, I can choose a different color. Um, if you want to do, like, if you want to mix and match, that's okay. So notice I am not doing this with my paintbrush. Normally, that's how we paint, right? We make lines and we don't pick up the brush. But today you are picking it up. You're touching it, touching the paper, pop. As close as you can, but not touching the last dab. It's okay if some of them accidentally touch. Whoops, those touch. Well, okay, my next one I'll try. Okay. So let's do that with the heart. <clears throat> so here's the heart. If you'd like to color in the heart with one color, that's fine. Or if you want to do the dabbing, that's fine too. Okay. So let's see. I'll start with red. And I'm going to follow the contour of the heart all the way around with the same color. If you're using a marker, you can do this with a marker too. You just might have to color it in a little bit more. Take your time and color. So paint would be faster. Okay, I have my layer of red. Now I could do another layer of red if I wanted to, or I can change my color. Orange. Okay, <clears throat> get enough color on my brush so that it's nice and bold and bright. You don't want it to, to be too watery or too light. I'll show you what I mean in my next color. Okay, so my next color, I think I'll do um, blue just to be different. You know, it seems like, oh, you should do yellow, Miss G. No, I'm going to do blue. <laughs> okay, so um, let's say oh, that I don't get enough color on my brush. Okay, if you don't get enough color on your brush, it won't be as bold and bright. And eventually it'll start to look really watery okay so I'm gonna go back in get a lot of pigment or color onto my brush go over those little spots there we go that's a dark bold blue vibrant And I always try to use the materials that you guys have. And so this brush is not very good. It's like really yucky. But I'm making some wonderful art with it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I just keep going. So, new color. Hmm. Oh, not enough color. Let me get some more pigment. There we go, that's a little better. Notice every single little
time I touch the paper, I'm thinking about where I'm going. I'm thinking about how close I am to the line. Every little mark is intentional or I'm doing it on purpose and I really am trying to make it look nice. Let's do green. Like I'm doing a mixed up rainbow. Oops, that one touched the purple a little bit. That's okay. Get some more green. Not starting to get too light. Dab, 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 dab. Back to red. I think I'm going to do the inside of the heart with some red dots. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll do some good on the outside too. So you should try to fill your whole page with color. Oh, and look, my red touched the green. Uh-oh. That's okay. No big deal. It happens. Okay, so I think you get the idea. Okay. The whole paper to be filled with little dabs of color following the contour of the shape that you drew. And if you did the lines, you're following the contour of the lines or just how the lines are going. I really like that orange. I'm going to add another orange. Okay, so I would continue going until I have my paper filled with color. And as I'm looking at this one, I can see, you know, there's like a lot of empty space. I could probably fit a few more little dabs in here, right? Okay, so you are you can look at your work and think, hmm, how can I make it better? Or I think it's good the way it is. So evaluate or look over your work and think about it. Okay, so that's how to make an Alma Woodsy Thomas styled work of art. I am so excited to see what you make. And I'll see you soon.